Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I love analytics. This is Google Analytics. It's free with your Google account. And if you have a website, you should probably be using some kind of analytics. Google has the ability now to show you in real time how many people are visiting your site, how they're getting there, and if they've been there before ever. So right now, uh, I've got 196 of you visiting LockerGnome.com. If you're watching this video and you visit LockerGnome.com, this number will go up. And I can see that, oh, this is very nice. 60% of you are return visitor. That's awesome. That tells me I've got a very strong community thanks to you. 40% of you are new. That's cool. You're, you're welcome to come back over and over and over again. And then look at that. The number's going up and down. Come on, guys. Everybody who's watching the video live, jump over. And, and it, what was it? A couple of minutes ago before I started this video, it was like, you guys, be my be my witness. It was like somewhere around like 120 or something until I said, hey, go here and your number will pop up, uh, right? It'll go up. See, it's going up. That's cool. Uh, it's exciting to me. And this is, again, free in, in Google Analytics, which, by the way, used to be Urchin. And I know the team who created this originally. So it tells me 208 right now. Uh, most of you are coming from the U.S. Then it's the U.K., Canada, Australia, Brazil, Germany, Greece, Netherlands, Norway, Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Denmark, Egypt, and Estonia. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty, oh, look at that, 215. God, you guys thought I was kidding. Now let's check out the traffic sources. Let's see where all these visitors are coming from. The number one referral, shocker, YouTube.com. Look at that. And then the second one, the second referral would be direct. So that would be someone clicking on a link in an email or potentially on no web page. They're just coming to look at LockerGnome.com somehow, somewhere. Uh, the next one is organic search results. Like people who search Google, they find LockerGnome's content. They jump over and they look. And then in terms of content, what are you guys looking at? Well, you're looking at a lot of the content that we created today. 30 of you are looking at uh, our Hackintosh Computers Legal. Uh, then the, the next one, the article that we're talking about right now, Gage versus Google. So Gage, or I should say Gages, uh, was acquired by GitHub, which is a repository for open source software. If you're a developer, you would certainly know about that. Gages has now launched as an alternative to Google Analytics. Not free, there's a seven day trial, but if you're someone who wants something like real time analytics, as well as the ability to see more about which browsers and their capabilities your visitors have, uh, Gages seems to be the leader, at least according to Eddie Ringle, who wrote that article. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead, as I do every time, because I'm not, I'm not just paying you guys lip service. I hover over plus one and see Kat Shaw, Alex Piero, Sean Jordan, Skylar Johnson, and Stacey Ferris have plus one it. I'm going to plus one it. You could also tweet it and like it. And then I'm going to go back to Google. And look at 225 of you are visiting. And I just, I love seeing this number. The fact that 60% of you have been to Locker Gnome before. That means so much to me, and I'm very grateful that Google has this feature. It's real time, it's in beta, it's in Google Analytics, but if you're not a fan of Google and its products, or you just wanna get off of Google's grid, Gages may be a good alternative.